Okay, yeah, so again we're in mid-July and this is the the uh, Mendocino tabletop farm in a box and I'm just sort of showing a little update on how things are going. Got some tilapia in there that are no doubt looking for food because they're always looking for food. Um, haven't been feeding them too, too much. It's uh, it's not been a priority. Um, they're, they're happy. They eat algae and and whatever else I, I put in there on a twice a day basis. But nonetheless, you can see the basil is going crazy. Shard is, is actually hanging in there despite the, the heat. Uh, probably because it's shaded in so well. Echinacea. I got some bougainvillea. I've just been cutting it back. You can see I cut all this off of it. It's just, it kind of went crazy. Originally, it planted the bonsai, this this plant. So, uh, we'll see how that comes. I've just trimmed it back. All except for that branch. I just had a hard time letting go of all those flowers. Peppers, more basil. There's that box basil, Thai basil. Uh, this vine, no telling what it is. I picked it up in a tropical store, and it's growing all the way up the pear tree. Like, it's tough. I mean, it's... You can see some of these these uh, vines. They come, they're straight up, and they go. They wrap around the tree, and they loop around it several times. Same over there. You can see the tension in that vine as it goes up, and it just kind of hooks in, grabs hold of the tree. I could see that this vine could uh, very easily take down some big trees. Uh, this is one season. I just brought it in from uh, out from the inside where I sort of acclimated it to aquaponics in a in a little pot like that. But uh, you can see it goes all the way up to the top of the pear tree. But uh, that's about it. Everything's happy. I started a little watermelon plant, but it kept getting eaten by beetles. Um, but the beetles seem to have... And not beetles, they were actually ladybugs. I was surprised. They, they attacked the leaves. They were eating the leaves. They got the other one. But they've, they've abandoned everything, so we're, we're back on track. You see some... A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, here I've got one tomato plant left. They just get beat up by the sun. Beat, beat, beat. I didn't ever put a tarp over them. Um, but you can see they're coming back where they're where they've got they've got a little protection. Leeks are uh, getting big. Um, box basil. You know, there's another couple tomato plants starting up. And. That's uh, that's that. This is the deep water. It's kind of suffered a little bit. It uh, with the every now and then when the power goes off, everything drains. Plants get dried out in one day if the water if the power goes off. And sometimes it does in a storm. Sometimes it does um, uh, when a plug comes loose. My electrical system could probably stand to be fine tuned. But uh, it's you know it is what it is. It's uh, it's been prolific. I haven't put much of any nitrogen in there. I do feed some small goldfish that are getting pretty big, just happy in there, eating a lot of algae, no doubt. Because this thing is just kind of like, produces its own algae. And um, and I feed them once a day, twice a day. So that's about it. Oh, these are these were algae experiments uh, that didn't perform, and they didn't because you can see there's very turbid, sort of cloudy, almost tan-colored water, not very green. And that's because I added a bunch of ash and um, used a lot of carbon from the uh, compost in there. So it's got a lot of composted plant matter, which probably should have dissipated by now. Uh, mostly the inorganic solids that are clouding up the water and competing for the sunlight with the algae. So I'm going uh, to drain these and start over. There's a, there's a big pile of, uh, of lime and, and some ash in the bottom of this that uh, is contributing to the alkalinity and to the uh, to the cloudiness issue. So that, that'll fix. This gets a lot of sunlight, so uh, that it's, a, it's an opportune spot. And that's about it. I'm David, and we are set to go.